<laughs> At this race park in Aurora, Dr. Lois Toll is giving these animals. And then I'm just going to poke it in his neck. Extra horsepower. Push the plunger. When it comes to speeding up, how fast they'll get home if they get lost. When there's a disaster and something gets loose, there's really no way to know. So being able to say, here's my number, this is my horse, then that is a great thing. Stomping out fears for Carolyn Kavinsky if she had to let Clifford loose during a wildfire. The panic is, is you can taste it. <laughs> Been on a couple of rescues. I also went in with my horse trailer and was able to pick up some people uh, during some of the fires. The emotion is, is real and it's extraordinarily frightening and you just don't know what to do when you have to let them go like that. During evacuations, 600 to 700 horses can end up at a fairgrounds waiting to be claimed. Many people don't, can't really recognize their horse after it's been gone two or three months. She'll put her head down a little. With a microchip, it's just like a VIN number on a car. This isn't just about horses under evacuation. These kinds of microchips help prize race horses, even just companion horses, get back to their owners. Over 40,000 horses a year are stolen. Microchipping allows for us to reunite people, whereas without microchipping, we have no way to do that. I'm scan it. So while these horses may roam, thanks to this beep, it's a lot easier to get them home. And there's the chip. Emily Allen, Channel 2 News.